Hi, in this video we are going to talk about how we can device the POE switch into three sessions. So we can use one session for the VIP phone, another session for the IP camera system, and last session for the SS phone. So you may wonder why we need to separate the switch into different sections. Let's say you have the IP camera set up and with the video recorder. You don't want the people who access the network through the access point can see the live video from the camera, right? And for the VIP phone, we rather to have the high priority. So we can have the continue video streaming for the VIP phone to the other side. We can use one other feature called VLAN from this switch. What's the VLAN? VLAN is just like the room. Let's say we create three rooms. And each room with the room number like the first room for the 101, the second room number is 102, and the last one is 103. And later we need to assign the port to this room. So like the first A port, we put it in the first room, the room 101. And the second A port to the second room, the last A port to the last room. And when the device like this device connecting to one of these ports, the switch will add in a small message to the data. So when the data travels through this switch, it's going to check the tape. This room number actually is the name of the VLAN. If it doesn't match, it cannot see each other. And we can configure the VLAN by using the web server. There's a web server built into this switch. But in this video, I'm going to use the common light. We need these two. This is the USB to serial port converter. If you prefer the web server, you can reference my another video how to configure the VLAN by using the web server. First, let me connect this MacBook to the console port of this switch. This is the console port, this is not the data port. And I'm going to connect the test USB and to the console port of the switch. Now I'm going to record the screen so you can see everything more clear. First, let's bring up the terminal. We don't need any driver. The map will deter the converter automatically. The, now let's just find out the name of the converter. Use lead dev cu. This is the name of the converter. And now we need the, another command called screen. The name of the converter. Let's just copy the name and paste here. We still need one more parameter. It's called the board rate. The board rate for this switch is 9600. OK, now we click admin, the username, and the password. Now we are in with the switch. This is the common interface to access the switch. So in order to create, the first thing we need to create a VLAN, like a different room number, right? OK, we just need to use the config to enter the config mode. Now, first thing is VLAN 1, 101. Let's say this first VLAN, the first room. And that, that will be it. And let's visit and create second 102. And is it. Also, the last 103. Now, is it. From here, we have create three different VLANs. Let's say the three different rooms. The second thing is we need to assign some of this port to each of these VLAN. So they are going to have the TAT and they will isolate from each other. OK, let's assign the first A port to the VLAN 101. We need to use the first A port. This is the common interface Internet 10128. Now we need to assign the switch port mode. This is SS mode. And we have another common we call switch port access to VLAN 101. That means all this A port will be assigned to the VLAN 101. Now we are seeing we just set a port 1 to 1A for VLAN 101. So we need to repeat this process for another two sessions. OK, let's say Ethernet 102, number A to 16. Also, the switch port, switching port mode is SS. 
And now we need to switch port SS to VLAN 102. Now we are getting just the last session. That's using the last section, the last A network port. Interface Ethernet to 24. Okay, now switch port mode, also SS. And switch port SS to VLAN 103. Let's see. Show VLAN, see. Now you can see that this is first VLAN, VLAN 101. We got port 1 to port number 8. And the second VLAN is port 8 to 16, and last is port 17 to 24. Now we have now we have created three different rooms, three different VLAN, and also assign this network port to each of these VLAN. Let's say we can now this at this moment we have the camera and the vid recorder stay in the same VLAN, right? VLAN 102. Let's just remove the recorder. Let's remove recorder to the First VLAN 101, see what will happen. You see we have lost the video. The reason is because they, they're not going to see each other because they have different room number, right? How to make it work? I can just assign this port, this port number 8, to the VLAN 102. So we are going to get the live video again. Let's just move back. Now we need to work with the port number 8. Ethernet port number 8 at this moment the port number 8 just belongs to the VLAN 101 right we need to bring it back to VLAN 102 so it will be the switch port access to VLAN 102 okay we can set we have set the port now immediately we can see the live video back again all right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.